I wonder if I'm stupid. Actually, I rather, I rather like the idea of stupidity. I think stupidity or ignorance is a starting point for something better. And I'm there, I hope, with Socrates and Plato. Stupidity is something to be so aimed at. Aimed at, not uh, avoided. Now, why do I say that? I'm not suddenly uh, bursting with some sort of faux humility. No, I'm thinking about Liz Truss as ever. As ever. And uh, I'm thinking about her decision, a uh, slightly, um, slightly coy and evasive decision, not to appoint an ethics advisor um, when she gets into number 10, if she gets into number 10. And uh, I think, really, this would be a mistake. The role of ethics advisor, I, she's right that there's too many of these advisors in number 10, but the role of the ethics advisor has been quite well established now. And Boris fell foul of it, and rightly so. And I think Liz Truss is in need of some ethical advice. You see, uh, when, when she changes her mind, when she is told that a particular position that she's adopted is not appropriate, she doesn't turn round and say, oh, I'm sorry, I've changed my mind. Oh, I'm sorry, I, was, uh, I, 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 I had thought one thing, now I think something else. You know, the old John Maynard Keynes misquotation, when the facts change, I change my mind. No, she doesn't do that. She says, let me be clear, let me be clear, you misunderstood. She ghosts us. And in fact, when she was asked about the ethics advisor, out came that little mantra, let me be clear, let me be clear. And the hands came out, the hands came out. Uh, she, she does a lot of hand action, does Liz Truss. She's, uh, she's clearly gone to some sort of amateur theatrical training sessions in the last year or so because she started she started putting her hands in very strange positions uh, and the, it, it's very mechanical so at times she looks a little bit like a puppet uh, but at other times she just looks inadequate and in great need of a bathroom break as the Americans would say. So there we are Liz Truss flapping around and talking about let me be clear let me be clear and her body language simply says quite the opposite. And on the back of this, she says that she would rather not have an ethics advisor, but instead she would like to appoint a strong chief whip. So that, that rather um, puts pay to uh, the, um, the, the present position of Chris Heaton-Harris, who I thought was doing rather well as chief whip um, in, 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 in the government so far. And it makes me think that somebody who is already uh, planning in minute detail who she's going to have and who she's not going to have in her cabinet is perhaps counting her chickens before her eggs have hatched. Is that the right expression? I sometimes get this back to front, but then so does Liz Truss, clearly. And maybe, you know, we've always been told, don't, don't do this too early because you might come a cropper. You know, the old Greek idea of hubris hubris and she would be well advised to remember that now that that is the beginning really of a lesson in ethics I, I would volunteer I would volunteer there we are Liz if nobody else would do it I'll do it have fun